Hello students, I am Miss Mackey and today I will show you what we mean by the static pressure in fluids. Static pressure of a fluid is the force being exerted by a fluid on any body or object immersed in it. Static pressure depends on the density of the fluid. The gravitational acceleration g which is 9.81 meters per second squared on the height of the fluid above the point in consideration. Static pressure is calculated using the formula pressure equals density of the fluid multiplied by the gravitational acceleration multiplied by the height of the fluid above the point in consideration. Static pressure equals rho gh. Being the pressure, static pressure is in pascals or in newton per meter squared. We can calculate the static pressure if you are swimming in a fresh water pool. Fresh water has a density of a thousand kilograms per meter cube. If you dive in a pool which is three meters deep, how much static pressure do you feel in your eardrums? To find it, we multiply the density of a thousand by 9.81 by the height of fluid or a depth of three meters. As long as you keep at the same depth you still feel the same pressure. The static pressure at 3 meters in a pool is the same as the pressure at 3 meters in a large lake. It is the height of the fluid that counts. With this in mind, which of the containers will have the highest pressure at the bottom? They all have the same pressure because they all have the same liquid and the same height of liquid. Let us now consider a situation at the seaside. Sea water has a density of 1027 kilograms per meter cube. To find the static pressure in its form, due to it, we must use this value of density. Let us consider a diver who wishes to dive into a cave. How much will his depth pressure gauge read when he is on land? Zero, of course. Many pressure gauges read zero pressure in the atmosphere. He now jumps into the sea to a depth of 3 meters, what is the static pressure he is feeling? We use rho gh and get the answer. He now realizes that he has to swim below the ship and dive deeper to a depth of 12 meters. What is the pressure now? We again use rho gh. Keeping the same depth of 12 meters he swims below the ship which weighs 20,000 tons. What is the pressure he feels? The same as before, because he is still at 12 meters. Oh yes, the ship is weightless in the sea, and makes no effect on the pressure. If we were to feel the weight of floating objects we would be flattened when we swim below them. The diver now descends to 20 meters to the cave opening. Again using rope GH we find the pressure he is enduring. He finally swims inside the cave and surfaces inside it. Since there is air, the cave has no opening to the outside. The water surface inside the cave is 15 meters below the sea surface. What is the pressure now on the gauge? We use rho GH and get the answer. The pressure is not zero in the air chamber because the cave is sealed from the atmosphere and is under pressure. So that is the lesson on static pressure. If you still have difficulties, contact your lecturer, Mr. Darmanin, for further help. Remember, wrote GH goodbye.